Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you not only how to rip your DVDs and Blu-rays free using MakeMKV, I'm also going to show you how to shrink it down with Handbrake and then apply them to your Plex server. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go and download the software required. I'm presuming at this point you already have a Plex setup or a Kodi setup. So this is just a ripping software I'm telling you about. Head over to www.makemkv.com. Once there, click on download and then select the version you wish to download, whether it's for Windows or for Mac. You then have to go to Handbrake, which is www.handbrake.fr and click download Handbrake. Once both of these have been downloaded, just double click and install them like any other Windows application. I already have them installed. So the first thing we have to do is double click on Make MKV. It'll either be in your desktop like it is for me, or it'll be down in your start menu. I've placed a DVD inside my DVD drive, and as you can see it gave it a quick scan, and it's now telling me that it's a single layer DVD and it's selected, it's called, it's 10 things I hate about you, so you can see that 10 things disc one. Also gives me some information regarding the serial number and the manufacturer of my drive. TSST, I believe is Toshiba. So now that it's actually selected, we can double check that we've got the correct drive and under our source here, which obviously is because it's a physical drive. And then we can click on open DVD disc. And give it a moment, it'll scan the drive. Okay, well the scanning didn't take as long as I was expecting. So as you can see, it's given me a description, 10 things this one UK, which is what we've seen in the previous screen. And it's shown you a title, 21 chapters and 4 gigabyte. Now that sounds about right. You can expand this, and it will show you the audio and the subtitles. I never tick the subtitles, unless it says subtitles English forced which means there's probably a requirement for the subtitles for it to make sense, in other words, when they are actually speaking a foreign language. I'm quite happy with it using DD Surround Sound, that's Dolby Digital. It's only actually got the one sound track. Sometimes with other DVDs you'll have multiple tracks, and even multiple languages. Now once we're happy that we've got selected what we actually want, we can just simply click Make MKV. It will tell me the directory d colon slash videos does not exist, I wish to create it. So first of all let's check that I actually have some space on my D drive. Yeah, I've got plenty of space on my D drive. There's 188 gig free. So I can close that, I can bring the pop-up back up, I can just click yes. As you can see, it's going to output to a file called title00.mkv and a folder called 10 things underscore disk1 underscore uk, which is the name of the disk. I'll give that a few minutes to rip and then I'll come back to you. As you can see, it's come up saying copy complete, one title saved, so we click OK and it takes us back to this page. Now, what we can do is we can open that folder. And click here and just copy the just copy the folder name. And I can close make MKV just now because we're done with that. So if I open up Explorer, paste in the folder name, we will see that we now have a four gig file called title 00.makemkv. So four gigs rather large for a film. Depending on how many you're storing, that might be a problem. So the next step we would have to do is we're going to use Handbrake to shrink that down. So we will open Handbrake. Is it open twice? Yeah, it's open twice now. Okay. It's asking me to select a source. So I'm going to select a file. I'm going to point it to the folder that MakeMKV output to, and I'm going to select title1.makeMKV, 
Go and click OK and wait for it to scan. The destination file I'll put in the same folder. And I'm going to just call it uh, 10 things. MP4. Click save. And down the presets to the side, this really depends on your own personal preference and what you actually like. A fast encode at 1080p for a DVD is probably fine. I wouldn't go very fast, but you might want to do a high quality 3D with surround sound. As this doesn't have, I don't think this had AC3 surround sound. I'm just going to stick with fast 10 and ATP. What I might do is I might do a future tutorial where I actually try all of these out, or at least the 1080p ones, and show you the difference in encoding time between them. So with that selected, the output container being MP4, our destination file entered, we simply click Start Encode. Depending on the speed of your system, as always, this may take some time, so I will speed this up in post. Wow. So after 50 minutes, that has now completed. If I go over to my folder, we should now see the 10 things MP4, which is 1.04 gig. So, 1.04 gig is a heck of a lot smaller than 4 gig. What we can do now is we can rename it. Now, the best way to check something so that it is correct and picked up correctly by Plex or by XPMC is to go to IMDB. And search for the movie. Okay, it's not a TV series, it's a film, so I can select that. And this is what you should actually name it. So copy that. We'll bring back up our file name. Press F2 to rename. Paste that in. But we also want to do new and folder and name the folder the same thing and then move it in in order to for this to actually work and to be picked up we have to place it in our Plex media in my case I have a Z drive and movies and I'll just paste it in there My Plex is set to automatically scan for new items, so it should detect that as soon as it's in there. And go to my Plex server. Hopefully, it will show up. Click in movies. And then search for 10, oops, not 14, 10. 10 things I hate about you. Click on that. And there we go. If it doesn't show up, you can always click the dots next to whichever library you have it in. And select scan library files. And what that will do is it will go through and it will check for any changes. If you like this video give it a like, if you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below and most of all thank you for watching.